Hey, looking good, ladies. You've mastered the art of the selfie angle for sure. Hey, my lips look so dull next to your gorgeous pout. So not fair. See, Bella's pout looks plump and gorgeous. Mine just looks sad. Yep, there it is again. What can I say? I have nice lips. Genetics, I guess. Don't bother, Lana. Your lips aren't just going to plump up because you pull on them. But maybe there's something I can do. What? Where are you going? Okay, there's gotta be something here that can help juice these lips up. I wonder if this little vase could help. No one's watching. Let's give it a try. Whoa, don't suck too hard. Nope. Not Kylie Jenner yet. Ugh, there's gotta be something else I can do. Whoa, I bet this giant vacuum could do the trick. Uh, isn't that suction a little too strong for your delicate lips, Lana? Wow, this thing sure is powerful! Yikes. Did that hurt? Your lips look really red. Well, that was a mistake. Lana? What the heck did you do to your face? I don't want to talk about it. It hurts too much. Too bad it's not Halloween. You could totally be a clown looking like that. You know, you could have just asked to borrow my lip liner. It enhances the look of your lips. And it's a whole lot less painful. Start by putting liner right where your skin meets your lips. Then take your favorite tinted lip gloss and apply it starting from the edges of your lips like so. Ooh, don't forget the top! Now take a white makeup pencil and very lightly outline the middle edge of your top lip. Then add a little bit of white liner to the middle edge of your bottom lip. Pretty cool, huh? See? Look how great Lana's lips look now. See? This trick's a whole lot easier than sucking an empty jar. Let's try these selfies again, shall we? Oh yeah, that's much better. I'm so happy we were finally able to meet up. I've wanted to do this for weeks! Oh, I almost forgot. I have to tell you all about the gossip I heard yesterday. Oh man, this is gonna be another one of Lana's long-winded stories, isn't it? Hold that thought. I'm gonna run to the restroom, okay? Alright then. Well, I guess I can use this time to touch up my lipstick really quick. Let me get my compact out. Okay, let's see what we're dealing with here. Whenever your date runs to the restroom, it's always an easy excuse to do a makeup check. Nice. All my blush wore off! I look so pale and splotchy. No, no, no. This just won't do. I'll just pop on a little blush and all will be better. Did I seriously forget to put it in here? Oh no! Now what am I gonna do? If you're ever in a bind and need to add a little color to your cheeks, try this handy little trick. Pucker up and put your freshly painted lips onto a paper napkin like this. Press the mark to your cheek, like this. Now do the same exact thing to the other side. Don't worry, it's not going to look like this for long. With your finger, gently rub the lipstick into your skin. It's a little sticky, so take a minute to blend it in. Don't forget the other cheek, Lana. There you go! Wow, that really does look like you're wearing real blush. See the difference? Well, that was a close call. I better put this stuff away before he comes back. There you are! Man, stay out of that bathroom. Yikes. After spending some time in there, Lana's long story suddenly doesn't seem so bad. Okay, just a minute! This laundry won't do itself! Go right on in. If you dare. Gross! Stupid boy! He wasn't kidding! It's like something died in here! I need like ten more of these! Death fumes be gone! So, I just need some clean relief. Okay, that's better. Oh yeah, the laundry. I think I can use this thing. If you have a stinky situation on your hands, 
Put a bar of soap into a woven sock. Then hang it under the toilet seat. Now when you flush, the water runs right over the soap. It may take a few flushes. But it seems to be working already! Sweet soapy goodness. Let the beautification begin! Oh! That sponge looks awful grimy. When's the last time I washed this? But I have to put on my foundation. Hello, sponges! Your laziness is finally catching up with you. Alright, time to bite the bullet. Ick. Soaking them in water should work. I hope so, anyway. Now watch the makeup wash away! Yeah! They're getting dirtier in this sink. And it's splashing everywhere. This is not okay. Mind if I come in a sec? This laundry won't do itself, am I right? Just a little more. Rockin' and washin', baby. I wish I were that happy cleaning. What do I do now? Did Steven leave his sock? It's an awfully pretty color, huh? Think I could fashion something? First, set the sponges aside. Then fold the sock and stick them inside. Yep, one after another. Perfect. Now pump out a little soap. Then lay the sock down in the sink. And let it sit under the running water. See the makeup come out as you squeeze? Take the sponges out of the sock. And if the water runs nice and clear, you're good to go. Mmm, this restaurant never disappoints. I hope I didn't ruin my makeup. I almost forgot about the bill! And I kinda wish I had. I think I can fork up the cash. Lily, your money! Ugh, I'm such a butterfingers. I'm gonna really lose my money one of these days. Wait a second. This magnet's pretty strong, right? And it just may be the solution to my problem. If you have loose bills, simply put magnets on the paper like this. Then secure them down with duct tape. Place another bill on top and fold it. Boom. These bills aren't going anywhere. Well, some are going to this hefty bill. Organized sure feels good, doesn't it? My new shoes are finally here! I hope they look as cool as they did online! Yes! They totally do! Thank goodness! I gotta try these puppies on! So far, so good! Oh yeah! Hello! I gotta get to class! What are these things made of? Knives? Ugh! Hey, what's up? Gah. Kevin? What's wrong? My new shoes are eating my feet alive! It's the absolute worst! Yep, just as I suspected. We're officially in Blister City. And yes, it's as bad as it looks. What? I can't possibly be out already! Do you have any band-aids, Lily? Ugh, but I do have one of these. Now, Kevin, have an open mind here. What am I supposed to do with this? Awkward. Actually… Don't tell anyone, okay? For this, cut the pad in half, like this. Then take the adhesive off the back. And stick it right onto the back of your shoe. Yep, just like that. Then slide your foot right on in. 
Wow! Let's see… Jump test! I know, it was kind of a genius move. And just like that, Kevin's day turned right around. We gotta go!